just yeah. I just see my savior. He brought the sexy and new music back in his epic SNL comeback. But before serenading the crowd with his comeback music, he and Jimmy Fallon crashed host Dakota Johnson's monologue. Oh, okay, I see what this is. This is where we make a joke like, first he was bringing sexy back and now he's bringing coming back. <laughs> JT hit that late night stage for the first time in nearly a decade, performing his mega hyped new song, Selfish. I want every you, I guess I'm selfish. And you know who's a fan of that song? His ex, Britney. In a seeming apology to Justin, she posted that she was sorry for some of the things that she wrote in her tell all memoir, The Woman in Me, including taking shots at JT. This after her fans pushed her old song, Selfish, to the top of the charts. Tonight I'm but she was more selfless than selfish, and she must have been watching SNL because she said this about the song he debuted on SNL. Sanctified is wow, too. I come out a new man, no blood on my hands. Sing. Sanctified. Both new songs are from his upcoming album, his first release in more than five years. Sanctified. Justin's musical night, a reunion with Dakota nearly 13 years in the making. We were actually in a movie together called The Social Network. I'm an entrepreneur. You're unemployed. I wouldn't say that. What would you say? That I'm an entrepreneur. Justin also reunited with this good friend and late night host. And I want to talk to you. He and Jimmy Fallon even brought back their iconic SNL BG skit. You will call me Sir Barry Gibb. I was knighted in 2018 for outstanding contributions to the music in the strap. <laughs> The cast celebrated JT's return and Dakota's big hosting night. It's just crazy to be standing so close to someone who would become the most powerful person in America. <laughs> the all-star after party included Dakota's famous mom, Melanie Griffith, and former stepdad, Antonio Banderas, along with famous friends like Demi Moore. Justin's wife, Jessica Biel, was also in New York City singing her husband's praises and his new song on TikTok. And Justin's not done with New York. He'll perform a special concert in the city this Wednesday on his 43rd birthday. There's a lot of fun on There's this record. There's a lot of tempo and a lot of fun on yeah. this record. JT spoke with Apple Music One's Zane Lowe about his new music. This album is really special to me. I can't wait for you to hear the whole thing in all of its glory. Everything I Thought It Was drops March 15th. I want everybody you.